Hello, test takers. Welcome back to Exam Prep Solutions. And today we've got another example problem here. This one's on soil mechanics. And um, we're going to be using Rankine's active per uh, earth pressure to determine the force on this retaining wall here. If you haven't seen already, we've got a free guide on how to solve any FE exam problem in five steps. It's a 100% free guide. Go to the description box down below. You can also find all of our other practice problem videos on our YouTube channel. Okay, so let's get into this one here. So it says, find Rankine's active earth pressure for unit of length on the retaining wall seen below. So where are we gonna start with this one? I have an excerpt from the FE manual. You're gonna wanna search Rankine, that's what I did here. And so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is calculate that Rankine, Rankine active earth pressure coefficient. And that equation is given here, equals tangent squared uh, times 40, or tangent squared of 45 degrees minus phi over two. And phi here is 45 degrees. So let's start solving this problem here. So k sub a is going to equal here tangent of 45 minus, and then that's going to be 45 divided by 2. And then this whole term is going to be squared. And so if we solve for that one here, um, I'm, going to, I'm going to use my calculator here. It's important to have um, good calculator skills when taking the test. Make sure you're familiar with your calculator. And so for that one, I have uh, 0.172 is what k sub a is going to equal. Now that we have that coefficient, we need to actually solve for that active earth pressure. And so the equation that we want to use here, we can see here, um, is 1 half times that active earth coefficient times gamma times height squared. So we're going to find that force here. And so now we've got 1 half, so I'm just going to put in 0.5 here, times gamma, which is 120 pounds per cubic foot, times k sub a, which we solved for. 0.172. Then we're going to times by the height squared. So that's just 10 squared or 10 times 10. And the value we get here, when we finally solve for that one, I'm going to put it in my calculator here, is we get 1032. And so the letter I would select here, I would select C. That's by far the, the closest answer. That makes a lot of sense. And so let's review the steps we took to solve this problem here. First, we determined that we needed the active earth pressure for unit length. Now, we didn't calculate the moment or the overturning moment on this retaining wall. That's not what it asked for. We would have had to multiply by uh, the, you know, the one third the height from the bottom here if we had to do that. We didn't have to do that this problem. So we just needed the active earth pressure uh, coefficient, which we found here. And then we used this equation, one half gamma times k sub a times h squared. There was no water table. So that was fairly simple, and we got 1032 as the answer. So if you have any questions about that problem, leave it in a comment down below. Other than that, check out our free guides, and we'll see you guys in the next video.